today i will be revealing the real story behind the warrior journey skins and by the end of the video all of these four skins will make sense to you i will be reading a script because i don't want any mistakes in the story and yeah let's begin the legendary sanskrit story told by maharishi valmiki long long ago in the island of lanka lived the evil king ravana whose ambition was to conquer and dominate the whole world and cause misery and pain to whomsoever came in his way and in kaushalya a kingdom in north india people prospered under the great ruler dashrath however kaushalya's capital ayodhya the biggest concern was that the king dashrath had no child on the advice of rishi vashishta king dashrath performed a yagya the ceremony to bring a child and he was blessed with four sons from his three queens one of which was ram the hero of the story born from dashrath's first queen kaushalya whenever there has been crisis on earth lord vishnu has appeared from heaven to earth for the salvation of evil lord vishnu has 10 incarnations and ram is believed to be his seventh incarnation from his second wife sumitra born two child lakshman and shatrudhan and from his third wife kai kai bharat was born all the four kids were grown like prince and have been trained like warriors when shri ram turned 16 years old upon that time came rishi vishwamitra to king dashra he discussed about the disturbance caused by the demons and also said that they were in great trouble and rishi vishwamitra chanted king dashra to send shri ram and lakshman to destroy them so shri ram and lakshman went to the ashram of rishi vishwamitra and killed all the demons including the evil demon tadaka as a reward of defeating tadaka and all the demons over there rishi vishwamitra passed his supreme weapons that god gave him to shri ram and lakshman on the other hand in the city of mithila lived the king janak with her daughter sita when princess sita became eligible for marriage then king janak started the search of right man he declared whosoever will lift the bow of lord shiva and string it will be given the hands of princess sita many princes came from different region and rishi vishwamitra also came with shri ram and lakshman many princes gave their attempts but no one succeeded then came shri ram and not only he lifted the bow but also broke it while stringing it considering the challenge was complete shri ram and sita mata were married many years passed and king dashrath also became old and he announced that shri ram will succeed him and shri ram will become the next king of ayodhya on one evening king dashrath's third wife kai kai was brainwashed by her dasi mantra dasi mantra reminded kai kai that king dashrath had given her two wishes years ago that kai kai has not used it yet and it was time to use it so dasi mantra was able to brainwash kai kai to demand her two wishes right now So Kai Kai asked for her two wishes to King Dashrath. The wishes were Kai Kai's son Bharat to be made the king and Shri Ram to be banished to forest for 14 years. King Dashrath was left heartbroken and he had to grant both the wishes of Kai Kai. Shri Ram without questioning anything accepted his fate. And when Sita Mata and Lakshman heard the news, they both requested to go with Shri Ram. So did they. Six months passed by, and King Dashrath's palace is enveloped in darkness, and the King Dashrath was free from the world. Bharat, Kai Kai's son, who was away in Kai Kaya visiting his grandfather, was called back to Ayodhya. He arrived to Ayodhya, and he confirmed the news. Then Bharat visited her mother Kai Kai. While Bharat was having conversation with her mother Kai Kai. he realized what has happened dasi mantra has brainwashed her and it had led to this misery realizing the mistake what has happened because of her mother bharat quickly left ayodhya in search of shri ram in forest then bharat finally met shri ram lakshman and sita mata and he asked them to come back to ayodhya 
Sri Ram denied and said that he has to abide by his father's wishes and he will only return when 14 years will get completed whether they like it or not. Bharat then took Sri Ram's slippers to the kingdom and then kept it in the king's seat and said that he will be ruling the kingdom until Sri Ram is back. Thirteen years passed by, Sita Mata, Lord Ram and Lakshman were passing by Godavari River. A place near Godavari River was much liked by Sita Mata, so she requested to spend her last year in the forest over there. The name of the place was Panchwati. Lord Ram, understanding the feeling of Sita Mata, accepted to stay over there and built a small house over there. One day, Shurpankha, Raman's younger sister, disguised herself as a beautiful lady, comes to Panchwati to entice Lord Ram. While Lord Ram was introducing Shurpankha to her wife Sita Mata, Shurpankha attempted to attack Sita Mata. Seeing that, Lakshman immediately threw a knife towards Shurpankha and cut her nose apart. This news was heard by Shurpankha's brother Ravana, the evil demon. So Ravan came with his flying vehicle to Panchwati with Marichi who transformed himself into a golden deer so that he can distract Lord Ram and Lakshman and he was able to kidnap Sita Mata using his evil spells. While using his power when Ravan was taking away Sita Mata in air, then the eagle named Jatayu made several attempts to attack and save Sita Mata but was unable to save her and was heavily injured with the attack of Ravan. While Ravan was taking Sita Mata with his flying vehicle, Sita Mata left her trace by dropping her jewelry on the way. Ravan took Sita Mata to Lanka, his kingdom, and kept Sita Mata in a secured place known as Ashok Vatika. Lord Ram and Lakshman on their way tracing the items dropped by Sita Mata met the flying eagle Jatayu. Then Jatayu told the whole story and also shared the direction where Ravan has taken Sita Mata. So they followed the direction that was told by Jatayu and on the way at Kabandha's mountain, a battle was fought between Lord Ram, Lakshman and Rakshas Kabandha. And Rakshas Kabandha revealed that he was cursed to be an ugly demon and only if he was defeated by a man of justice, he could regain his original self and he can now go back to heavens. But before leaving, he also gave advice to Sri Ram. The advice was to find Sugriv. So Sri Ram and Lakshman moved on and finally met Hanuman at Rishmuk Hills. Sri Ram and Lakshman told the story to Hanuman and Hanuman took Sri Ram and Lakshman to Sugriv. Then Sri Ram and Lakshman met Sugriv, the king of monkeys. Sugriv said that one day he heard a painful voice calling her name Sri Ram from sky and he showed a pouch that was fallen from air to Sri Ram. Sri Ram and Lakshman realized that it was of Sita Mata. Sugriv promised Sri Ram that if he helps him to defeat Bali, his brother who banished him from his kingdom, Sugriv said if Sri Ram helps him to recover his kingdom, he will send his men to search the whole world to rescue Sita Mata. So Sri Ram and Lakshman helped Sugriv to regain his kingdom Kushkindha. And upon victory, Sugriv called his entire army at one place where Sri Ram gave his ornaments to the army general. One of the army general was Sri Hanuman. So all the four army went on search on each direction. While the army of Sri Hanuman were on their way, they met Jatayu's brother Sampati. So they shared the whole story of Jatayu and Sita Mata to Sampati. Sampati recognized the evil who has kidnapped Sita Mata and he directed the army towards Lanka, the kingdom of Ravan. Now the only problem was to cross the river. And at that point, Jamvan, the king of bears, told Sri Hanuman that his powers were sealed with a spell when he was a child because 
it was uncro uncontrollable by him at that time but now it was time to unseal the powers so jamwan unsealed the powers and strength of sri hanuman and now hanuman was ready to make his way towards lanka so sri hanuman enlarged himself and it is said that with one single jump sri hanuman was able to cover the entire distance towards lanka after a long search she finally found sita mata in ashok vatika sri hanuman showed the ornament to sita mata that was given by lord ram sita mata quickly recognized the ring sri hanuman said to come with him he will take back her to sri ram sita mata denied and said that there were many people in lanka who needs the rescue it's not only she who needs the rescue shri hanuman assured sita mata that he will come back but before leaving he want to teach ravan and his friends a lesson so he went towards the army of lanka and he captured himself knowingly so that he can see ravan face to face shri hanuman was presented to ravan where he introduced himself as a messenger of lord sugriv and a devotee friend of shri ram shri hanuman said to ravan to restore sita mata to lord ram and seek his forgiveness ravan directly said his soldiers to kill shri hanuman then vibhishan brother of ravan said according to the law of king you may weep the messenger but killing a creature is not suggested he also said that with the help of shri hanuman the real enemy could be brought over here ravan agreed to the suggestion of vibhishan and he commanded his soldiers to set fire on the tail of shri hanuman in the open market so fire was set to the tail of shri hanuman and he made a escape plan from jumping from one house to another with his burning tail and he set fire to the almost entire city hearing the news of the burning city ravan abandoned his brother vibhishan from his kingdom meanwhile shri hanuman reached back to shri ram and he shared the entire story now the only problem was how can they cross over to the other side the same time vibhishan appeared who seek refuge shri hanuman shared the story on how vibhishan attempted to protect him and he has also observed the honest nature himself and said we should let him join our forces so now vibhishan joined the army of shri ram vibhishan has already heard the problem of crossing the ocean and he said we should pray to the sea god and ask his help so shri ram started praying to the sea god and on the 8th day he appeared shri ram shared the problem with the sea god and he said to build the bridge with stones on which his name should be inscribed on each of the stones and the stones will not sink in the ocean so the formation of ram setu began so that shri ram and his army can reach lanka shri ram then sent the prince of monkey angad to ravan with the final message the message was that if his wife sita mata and the prisoners are released and he could take shelter under shri ram then there will be no bloodshed and peace will be maintained but when ravan heard the news he ordered the soldiers to kill angad angad somehow managed to escape and before leaving he said that next time we meet it will be at the battlefield so the army of ravan was called for the battle against shri ram and his army on the day one of the battle ravan sent his entire army with kumkaran's son kumb and nikum kumb and nikum gave a great battle to the army but at the same time shri hanuman and the king of monkey army sugriv entered the battle and defeated kumb and nikum after the sun has set there is no battle fought only the injured soldiers are being healed with the herbs and the dead ones are being cremated on the day to ravan sent his most powerful soldier in the battlefield kumkaran he would sleep for 6 months and wake up for one day because he was under a curse kumkaran was immortal if he would take a sleep for 6 months 
बट द साइकिल हैज बीन ब्रोकन बाय रावण हेंस ही बिकेम मॉर्टल सो कुंभकर्ण एंटर्ड द बैटल फील्ड एंड द मंकी आर्मी वर स्केयर्ड एंड फ्राइटेंड ऑफ सीइंग कुंभकर्ण सो इट वाज टाइम फॉर द ऑलमाइटी वॉरियर श्री हनुमान to enter the battle all the army stayed still when the battle of shri hanuman and kumkaran went on in the beginning shri hanuman gave an amazing battle to kumkaran but were not able to stand against kumkaran so shri ram entered the battle in between when shri ram entered the battle it was already down but as kumkaran was still in the battle field the battle continued shri ram summoned his supreme weapon that had been gifted to him by rishi vishwamitra and he finally defeated kumkaran hearing this news ravan sent his son indrajit at night indrajit took his flying vehicle and arrived at the place of wounded and in front of the whole army he killed sita mata seeing that shri ram was disappointed and taking the advantage of that indrajit launched two arrows that got hit by jambavan the king of bears and lord lakshman and then indrajit escaped one of the soldier monkey came and told shri ram that the arrows that were shot by indrajit were not recovering with the herbs they had then vibhishan entered the conversation and said sita mata must be alive and also said it must be one of the indrajit's magic tricks indrajit performed his tantric rites in the cave of nikumbela he can only be defeated while he is performing the tantrics he said jambavan was able to wake himself up and said that in himalayas there are some herbs that can heal our wounds shri ram quickly sent shri hanuman to himalayas and fortunately he was able to find the herbs and not even that he also tested the herbs on himself shri hanuman was unable to calculate how much herbs will it require to heal the entire army so he picked up the whole mountain and swiftly made his way towards lanka thankfully shri hanuman was able to reach back on time he landed the mountain on the ground and the monkey made their way to get the herbs and then the herbs were treated to lord lakshman and jambavan and they recovered it was day 3 by the time and the monkey army made their way towards indrajit where he was performing his tantric lord lakshman shot an arrow towards the statue and it caused disturbance in the ritual and the battle began indrajit was able to make a escape from the cave but he had been spotted by lord lakshman lord lakshman was able to catch one of the flying demons and he convinced him to take him towards the flying vehicle of indrajit somehow lord lakshman reached towards indrajit and the battle was fought between indrajit and lord lakshman and this battle was won by lord lakshman now this news was heard by ravan and he finally made his way towards the battlefield with his flying vehicle as ravan was in his flying vehicle the monkey army were unable to harm ravan in any way seeing the damage caused by ravan lord ram sat on the back of shri hanuman and made his way towards ravan and with a perfect arrow shri ram was able to kill the driver and we were successful to land ravan on ground then the battle between two leaders were fought at some point of the battle lord ram was able to cut ravan's head apart but ravan was immortal so he recovered his head immediately now angry ravan transformed himself into his original state where ravan had 10 heads with him with incredible strength and power ravan was blessed with a boon that would make him invincible to all the creatures of brahma except for humans and shri ram was human so he had a chance of winning the battle the battle was fought between them and we can also sense that ravan was having an edge ravan was able to cage shri ram in fire now shri ram called upon his supreme weapon and he made an escape from the fire and then shri ram increased the size of his supreme weapon and cut ravan apart in two pieces 
evil demon Ravan was defeated and this day is celebrated as Dashara. Sri Ram commanded the Lanka's soldiers to devote themselves for the restoration of the country with their new king Vibhishan. Sri Ram finally met Sita Mata and according to a mythology it is said that it took 21 days for Lord Ram to walk from Sri Lanka to return to his own kingdom. Ayodhya along with Sita Mata, Lord Lakshman and others. And the day when Sri Ram, Sita Mata and Lakshman returned back to Ayodhya, this day is celebrated as Diwali. So by now many things might be clear to you and if you want to watch the full movie, the name of the movie is Ramayan The Legend of Prince Rama and more details are in the description. So let's talk about some brawl stars. Vanara Frank has been inspired from the great warrior Hanmanji. Dasius Groom has been inspired from the evil demon Ravan. Brother Bo is an inspiration of the great brother of Sri Ram, Lord Lakshman. And last but not the least. The God himself, Supreme Bo, is the inspiration of Lord Ram. The like aim of this video is 1000 likes and if you have watched the video till the end, make sure to comment Jai Shri Ram in the comments so that I can know that you have watched the video till the end. And I wish you and your family a very happy and a safe Diwali. And make sure to use Creator Code AP in the shop before making any purchases. Until then, good night, take care and see you in the next video.